Mail Merge is a tool in Word which allows you to create form letters like the ones you get in your mailbox addressed to you by name and suggest to buy some product. In this video, I'll show how you can create a form letter using Mail Merge. You can see the document has advertisement for a company's cosmetic products. This letter needs to be sent to a lot of people in a city but addressed to each person by their name with address details. It's time consuming to type each name and address on each letter. Using Mail Merge, it's easy to get the customized letters printed. To start with, the addresses and names of all people should be stored in a spreadsheet. Word allows access table or other forms of data storage also. In this example, I am using a spreadsheet. Browse the spreadsheet. You can see the spreadsheet has details of five recipients of this letter with names and addresses. The first row has details of headings and these are default names Word recognizes. So it's better to keep the names same. Now go back to the document. Click on Mailings, click on Start Mail Merge, click on Step by Step Mail Merge Wizard. On right side in the pane, select Letters, click on Starting Document. Select Use the Current Document, click on Select Recipients. Select Use Existing List, click on Browse and select the spreadsheet which has the list of recipients. Select table dialog box is displayed. Click OK to select the table. Now mail merge recipients are displayed. You can exclude any recipient from receiving this letter by unchecking the box against the recipient. Click OK to complete selection of recipients. Click on Write Your Letter. You can see Word allows to add address block, greeting line, etc. Place the cursor in the document where address block is needed and click on address block. Insert address block dialog box is displayed. You can see word shows how the address will be displayed. Also, it has options never include country in address or always include country or include only if other than specific country which you can select. You can leave it as United States.
Match field button is useful if the spreadsheet has heading names other than default names used by Word. You can see spreadsheet doesn't have matching fields for company and suffix, but rest of the fields are matching. Click OK to add address block. Click OK again. You can see the address block is added to the document. To add greeting line, place cursor where greeting should be in the document and click on greeting line. Insert greeting line dialog box is displayed. You can see greeting line is with first name and last name. Click OK to add the greeting line. Now click on preview your letters. You can see the address block and greeting line are populated for one of the recipients in the list, the third recipient. You can check the letters for all recipients using the left and the right arrows above. As you can see, all the five letters are populated with the address and the recipient name details. Now click on complete the merge. You can edit individual letters and make any changes if needed by clicking on Edit Individual Letters. You can select a range of letters or all letters for editing. If you want to print the letters, click on Print. which allows to print all or a range of letters. Click OK to print all letters. You can select the printer and print the letters. This mail merge document can be saved and reused when needed. Click on File and Save As. Browse to the folder where you want to save this document. And change the name of the document with the name you want. Click OK to save the document. If you want to reprint the letters from this document, click on Finish and Merge. Click on Print Documents to print the letters. You can also make any changes to letters by clicking on Edit Individual Documents.